Oh boy, I've really gone in deep this time. This, all of this, is our port side head. We've gone completely nuts and we have ripped the whole thing out. Oh, there it goes. And honestly, I feel like I may have bit off a little bit more than I can chew. It's not good when all of your through holes aren't connected. And you guys know, I take on some really big projects. But this one, this one's extra. We bought our old catamaran in October of 2020 to take our family cruising, and we immediately started tackling a lot of the renovations on the boat while knowing nothing about boat work. So far, we've completely made over the salon and the galley, as well as almost the entire electrical system. Now, we're trying to convert this boat into an owner's version. Make sure to subscribe, and hopefully, we're gonna set sail this winter. Okay, we're gonna continue the process here with the uh, owner's version. And this area right here, this wall, this is the original um, one of the heads. This is the port side head. And uh, we're gonna remove this. And so a lot of what we have in here, it's, it's very much a mess, but we've got laundry um, here, and then we've got our composting head there. That's dirt to go in the composting head. That's the exterior wall with uh, the escape hatch. Um, this opening here there's some wire chase in there that we've been working on uh, but i'm going to cut all of this out because all of this in here um, this is going to become cabinets and we may also have cabinets here on the outboard side we'll see this is uh the shower that's all the way back there you can kind of see the arch ceiling um, we've had to stuff stuff in there for the time being so that we can move forward with this part the shower still underway we're working on um, fairing and uh, I've got to lay another layer of glass there in this shower pan just to give us some added stability this really really looks like a bulkhead right here um, we've got stairs right there um, this is not a bulkhead it's very deceiving it does not go all the way to the floor here I'll show you it's just real tight in here so this is one of the this is the outboard bilge section and then this wall here is sitting on these uh, little like truss system. But underneath here is nothing. I don't know how well you're going to see. But I can thread my hand in here on top of the keel and it doesn't even sit on top of the keel. So I thought at first that this might be a longitudinal bulkhead, but it's not. We belong to a group on Facebook. This is a, a Fontaine Peugeot Venezia 42 or maybe Venezia 42. We were told it's pronounced Venezia. Um, anyway, there's a Facebook group for us that own these boats and there's at least one person that has an owner's version and the story that we heard was uh, the original person that purchased that boat was connected with Fontaine Peugeot and it was a custom, so it's one of a kind. So our boat will be the second one ever. Um, but he was really nice to send us pictures and so we got a lot of that. And so we have some ideas. So we know that this particular wall is not important. Um, this wall here, what they did was they kept this here and it has this curve like the door and then it carries on straight. So we don't think that this one is as important as that one. We're gonna start with cutting this right at this seam and then we'll cut it off at the bottom. Um, hopefully this goes well. I do have some wires running right here uh, for that light there. So I'll be conscientious of those, but those are just low voltage. All right, here goes nothing. Gotta cut out. I think it's gonna take some brute force here to get it out, but this has been this has been a couple hours, I think, right? Or not that much? An hour and a half? Maybe an hour. Most of our time was spent hunting for tools. Okay. And the front of the boat falls in. Let's hope the boat doesn't. Fall in. We 
might need the, uh, the pry bar. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Just a little bit of brute force. Watch yourself. Yeah. All right. All right. We've got a visual on things. So have a quick look here down at the floor. You can see that this doesn't go. This stuff is just, it's not attached to anything. This is not, this is not structural. For any of you guys out there that think that we're about to destroy our boat, this is not structural. But yeah, this is all cosmetic, so we can change any of this. Which is what we're gonna do. We're hoping to take this back further. We're just doing a little bit at a time, just because. We don't know. We don't know. But the hope is that we'll take this back and then be able to put, I mean, if you can see, I mean, I'm kind of close here just because I can't stand, but I'm not touching the other. It's pretty wide. So we're hoping to put some cabinets on both sides. So. This sort of thing right here, this little hidden gem right here, this is the vein of my existence because we continue to have all kinds of trouble with our lights and wiring and whatnot, and we can't find why. And then we continue to find things like this. But I think that these just go to this light, so that will be easily corrected. And then a lot of this is gonna come out. Did you say the vein of your existence? Vein. It's Bane. Bane? Yeah, pretty Who sure. ever heard of Bane of your existence? Bane? Is that not right? Bane? Bane. Yeah, Bane of our It's vein of your existence. Vein, Carter, vein. vein. Like the blood that runs through your veins. No. The vein of your existence. Vein. No, vein. Vein. Y'all are wrong. You are wrong. But you're always Alright guys, vein or bane? It's bane. Vein or bane. Oh my gosh. We salvaged this, the toy table holder. These things are really expensive and this one's in great shape. We're just gonna clean it up and we will reinstall it. Here's the plan for today. Um, this area here that was the sink, we're gonna cut out. Um, this area right here, that is the bottom underneath the escape hatch, which is very dirty. Um, I'm going to leave because I don't quite know what I'm going to do and it's a nice finished edge. So I'm going to be cutting right here and we're going to cut all the way up through here. And then I think I'm going to cut, there's like a little lip here. I'm going to cut on the uh, closest side to me all the way across and then, and then down. Um, once we do that, then I'll have a better idea what is the situation here, but I believe that our washer is going to sit really well up in this space. The hull kind of tips down a little bit, so we're not positive yet until we get this cut open. But once we do that, once we get it cut open, then we'll have a better idea of what to do next. I'm confident it's going to be fine. This is our, this is our bathroom door. <laughs> We've moved our temporary um, composting toilet to right here. So now it's actually luxury because it's on carpet. <laughs> it's probably not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hope it doesn't overflow. <laughs> That's all right, the carpet's trash anyway. Okay. It feels like we're hung up on something, doesn't it? Like it's spinning. Not now. I think I fixed that part. It still feels like we're hung up on something. Oh, <laughs> it's because I reconnected the drain. Because uh, you told me to. Well, baby, you were flooding us. We were sinking. We're sinking. All right, like, look at this stuff now. Of course, I did not do this. Looks like it was um, secured at one point. At one time, it was secured. Awesome. There's also this guy here, this anti-siphon, mm -hmm. that's not attached to the wall. None of this stuff could really be seen until we cut this out. Like, So the other side's probably equally as bad. I would think so. We may consider doing this to the other side just so we can get better space, better access, because we cannot reach anything, hardly. This one through hall, all the way back here, um, right now, this is my this is my max arm length from when the shower when when the sink was installed. 
it would have been impossible to get to it. And that's the one that was loose on the other side. This one here, do you see the white goop and everything? So that's thread sealant. And you come up to this one here, it looks pristine. No thread sealant. I wonder if it's loose like the other side. Because you couldn't reach it. Yes, it sure is. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's like, it's absolutely not installed at all. Can you see it, Becky? Unbelievable. He couldn't reach it on the other side to fix it, so he put in a new through hole because he couldn't reach it. Me. But, yeah. I did. Yeah, that's yeah. what I said. I put through holes in, in this area um, for the for the new bilge, and we're going to do the same thing on this side. If you are finding value or entertainment in this gigantic mess we are making, consider becoming a patron. It starts at $3. So we have pulled out all the old stuff that we don't need other than through holes that we can't really do anything with until we get out of the water. And we've cleaned it up, but now we need to run to the store and get supplies so we can start the rebuilding process. If you have any doubts about our ability to put this back together, check out our salon refit video. We took a very unusable space and made it very comfortable for our family. All right guys, that'll be it for now. We'll see you next week. Bye.